Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. One win streak doesn't make me a happy camper, let's put it that way. An Eve run doesn't make me a happy camper, let's put it that way. It's early in the morning, doesn't make me a happy camper, let's put it that way. Sax, that's just, that, you know what? That makes me a happy camper. Then we got Kuwait Cartoon Network, which is actually the premier cartoon network worldwide. Most people don't know, they just assume it would be, you know, the United States of America maybe, but no. Kuwait's Cartoon Network really holds it down. They exclusively play Ren and Stimpy reruns. It's lovely. I'm joking. I don't know. Maybe they do. So, the Mr. Mega pickup right off the bat is actually not very good. However, it does give us the ability to have bombs, which gives us the ability to get that spirit arm, which gives us the ability to put ourselves in the Horror of Babylon state, which might give us the ability to not go insane before we get enough damage to make this work. So I'm going to try something here. Bond ourselves, put ourselves in the Whore of Babylon state. I thought maybe we'd find the secret room as a result of this. On any other character, or you know, unless you're Eden with Whore of Babylon, you typically want to save the spirit heart for the end. But I really think that it's valuable most of the time to put yourself in the Whore of Babylon state as early as possible. Get acclimated to that extra bonus damage that you're lucky enough to have as uh, Eve. Because if you don't have that, you don't really have anything. You know that Alicia Keys song? Some people want it all. I don't want nothing at all, because everything means nothing if I don't have you, baby. Which, I don't know why she has to bring one of the B-tier, you know, 007 James Bond games for the PlayStation 2 era into it, but... That's... I'm, I'm, I consider myself kind of a vocal powerhouse when it comes to singing, so anytime we do karaoke, I like to break out the, the Alicia Keys. It's, um... Some people say, and I don't know whether or not to believe them, but I do trust every word that they say that I'm actually a, a better singer, that I sang it better. You know, if there was a site, who sang it better? Me or Alicia Keys? I'm just saying that Miss Keys might not be uh, super thrilled about the uh, results of that website. She might have to... She might have to face some uncomfortable truths that a, a man, a Canadian man in his mid-20s with a, with a deep baritone maybe brings the dulcet tones to a higher degree than you had initially expected. Of course, I've already fucked this up. Um, you might not want to take Blue Cap in this situation, because it fucks up your Horde of Babylon damage, but that's, that's where I struggle with, um, with Eve, is like, if you get HP and you're gonna get HP, do you take it, or do you just permanently stay in your Horde of Babylon state with your head in the sand and your damage high? I'd like to stay in the permanent Horde of Babylon state, but, you know, we gotta get this extra damage as well. I think we might be able to get the best of both worlds here, that was a huge bomb. Um, so I think we will hurt ourselves again to get back down to the Horde of Babylon state, and we'll take our two spirit hearts with us. Um, it's... We have enough money, by the way, to spawn an arcade on the next floor, which is awesome, but for now, let's see what we got here. Guppy's tail and a bomb. Hit me. I don't care. We're gonna lose that spirit heart anyway. It just makes my life easier to do it, uh, this way. And we really did get the best of both worlds here. If we'd played our cards a little bit more smoothly, we could have actually had, uh, you know, one extra spirit heart right now, but that's the kind of thing that doesn't really matter all that much, and plus, we have our extra, um, our extra HP container now from, uh, Blue Cap, which we can use to presumably get, uh, a better deal with the devil leverage in the future. So we're all out of bombs, but we did manage to get into our shop without wasting a key where we will pick up Humbling Bundle, and, you know, we could pick up something else, but I'd rather just save our money. So we do have a chance to get an arcade on the next floor. We may want to, uh, have an arcade. Well, you always want to have an arcade. It's better to have one than not to have them. But we may want one to give ourselves a better chance of getting back into the Whore of Babylon state if I accidentally pick up some red hearts, which is, you know, the kind of thing that can happen. Also, a demon judgment, nothing to sneeze at. We are going to pop in here. I was hoping that there would be a, uh... A demon judgment? There is not, but that's okay. Every time we play the Blood Bank, we are going to snag two cents out of it. If we play our cards right, we shouldn't have any risk of not being in the Horror of Babylon state. As long as we, you know, don't pick up like seven HP at a time. Although that actually might be... It might be tricky to avoid picking up double hearts because of the uh, Humbling Bundle. But it's still a good thing. Tears down. Uh, we had a Tears upgrade pill as well, so as far as I'm concerned, you know, this isn't worth complaining about. Turnabout is fair play. I'm going to not be too ornery about it. We also had a tiers upgrade in the form of our uh, blue cap, so we're still doing very, very well from a tiers perspective, and you gotta roll with the punches, you know? That's my philosophy anyway. We're gonna be up to 15 cents with spider butt, which is not a good item, but it, it's replacing literally nothing, which makes my life pretty easy. 
Makes my decision uh, one that is not very complicated. Come on, Humbling Bundle? You're supposed to be paying out with bombs and keys, man. Maybe we need to up our luck stat to make that happen, but... There we go, double keys. We can access this. Not really that interested in BOGO bombs, I'll just be straight with you. And then in here, we get the Lover's Card, which we'll probably use um, on our arcade after we've gotten everything else sorted out on this floor. First things first, we gotta get this deal with the Devil. No bombs, that's alright. Alright, Monstro Fight. And I should have used Spider Butt earlier, probably. But it's not that big of a deal in the whole scheme of things. Ideal payout here is that we end up getting... Well, honestly, if we get HP, it's not the end of the world, but I would rather just pick up a DPS upgrade and then huge DPS upgrades in the form of our deal with the devil. And if we have a deal with the devil with items on it, and it doesn't even matter if those items are particularly strong, but a deal with the devil with items would make me feel awesome about this. Um, don't make me fight Krampus, please. So we'll come in here first. That's not items, it's item, but still, um, you know, fear shot for a little extra damage is okay. We did ruin our Whore of Babylon stay, but we did so for a, for a purpose. I'm going to pick up uh, the bomb here. I didn't even see that we had that money right there. Is there a reason not to get BOGO bombs? I don't like it, but for 15 cents, it probably gives us more than we would need, I suppose. I don't know, man. It's weird, okay? Just just go with me on that one. Um, we are going to go to our cursor and probably should have gone to it earlier, but I guess we'll go to it now. And we'll pick up two black hearts so I don't feel bad about it. And we'll go back to our arcade, because we have some stuff that we can do up here. And I'm hoping that maybe we can pick up some extra bombs in the process as well. And because I said that, now I'm like, we should probably have BOGO bombs, right? Like, seems silly not to. So do that, and then we'll pop the lover's card. And we only needed to work, like, once. We don't need to be at a half heart. We can get away with being at a, a full heart. Okay. I want to play you until I get down to like maybe 20 cents just to see if we can get a better trinket. I'm not really that interested in spirit hearts. But if you would be so nice as to give me another trinket. Alright, that's fine. Uh, we're still in a great position. Like, I can't complain about this very much, but uh, I wish that perhaps it was a little bit better off. Does Boko Bombs even synergize with Humbling Bundle? Like, or is it just redundant? I think it might just be redundant, so I'm just going to go. I'm very happy with where we're at, and... You know, financially, the less money we spend, the easier it's going to be to guarantee ourselves arcades on future floors. So I'm happy with that, and our time is going pretty well right now. Cursed Skull is not very good. Why does it seem like... I think, like, Dark Matter made my shots smaller, which makes me think they're doing less damage, which is a... You know, it's a terrible shortcut for figuring out how much damage you have. It's like in, in Vanilla being like, my tears are red, I'm doing a lot of damage. It was a very persistent myth. Instead, um, we should just be, you know, not even going by the stats panel necessarily, which can also be misleading, but just going by how quickly we're killing enemies, which is, it's going relatively well. But there's still work to be done. There's always work to be done. Spider Butt is ready. Boss Rush is, uh, you know, a theoretical possibility here. I wouldn't get your hopes up. It, it's too early to call, you know? Probably like 75% of runs, I am faster than I than I need to be through the first two floors. But it's really after that that um, the game actually starts to slow you down a little bit. You need to not ball out of control, but you need to start to at least exercising some ridiculous level of balling. Some at least like you know 90th percentile in order to stay in the thick of it. There, humbling bundle, of course, uh, one of the most obviously awesome shop items. Some people would probably consider it maybe the best shop item, and honestly, I don't know if I disagree. I mean, my favorite shop items are Humbling Bundle and Black Candle. That's all, that's unfortunate, but uh, Mom's Key, stuff like that. So uh, I'm, I'm very happy to be in the situation we're in, and I think we're pretty uh, pretty fortunate to be in the situation as well. An early Humbling Bundle is, is awesome, you know? It's like starting to save for retirement when you're like two years old. You're going to get a huge uh, amount of benefit as a result of picking it up so early. Analogy barely makes any sense. But it, the important part is the barely. Alright, I'm taking some very, very dumb damage, but that's okay. We do have a Tinted Rock here. I don't always notice those, but sometimes I do, and when I do, I like to blow them up. And, of course, we just pick up Stompy immediately afterwards. <laughs> Thereby meaning that I didn't have to use my bombs at all, but that's okay. We'll totally check this out as well. And Blue Candle is uh, its a much better item. <clears throat> and Spider Butt. 
I'm very happy to have it. And hopefully we still get enough money to spawn an arcade on the next floor, just in case we end up, uh... Maybe, uh, picking up some HP. At this point, we probably... Oh, that was dumb. We probably have enough HP that I can justify not, uh, picking up an HP upgrade from the boss, but that's something you, you pretty much gotta play it by ear. Alright. Chub with blue candles should be a cakewalk. Unless you let him, uh, get his exploding minion right next to you, and you miss with all of your blue candle shots. I can't help but feel I'm playing a little sloppy right now with my aim, but there we go, that's handled. Pretty good chance to deal with the devil. HP upgrade, man. I'm not that interested. You know, the, there's a decent chance that we could get, uh, that we could get, oh my god, an arcade on the next floor, but... Do I really want to take that chance just to have one extra heart container when I haven't even had a deal with the devil yet anyway? Except for that well, that one deal with the devil. We don't talk about that one. Because it ruins my point. Alright, so we're just going to kick out. Oh, I don't know what happened to my voice there. <clears throat> this is why I don't wake up before 2pm. That's not true, by the way. But it is a little earlier than normal for me. I'm not going to go to that other room, we're just going to leave. I'm very displeased with my performance here, I will just tell you that straight up. I'm not going to open that thing. And I'm going to leave that HP there, and I don't think that that's the kind of thing that's going to make a major deal on this run, but... I think it's worth avoiding. And we'll throw some more Spirit Hearts and Black Hearts away here in the hopes of picking up a Guppy item, maybe. Or just a bomb, which is also awesome. And I will sacrifice both keys to check this out as well. And I feel pretty shitty about it, but we can at least... You know, maybe get a golden key and then open that stuff up. We'll see. Now, I am hemorrhaging HP at a, at a remarkable pace right now. I'm a little, little anxious, but I, I gotta be honest, I don't feel like that physical kind of, like, anxiety sensation. Like, I feel like we're actually still in a pretty great position. It's just, we, we ran into some hard times, and that's okay, you know? Just because Paris Hilton, you know, got fired from the surreal life, that doesn't mean that she's not still an heiress. She's still going to be okay, probably. Never fear. So we're going to go to our item room first. And there's Polyphemus, and I'm glad that I did not waste my keys, because that is a huge damage increase for us. Lemon Party, it's good to know that it exists, but I feel like I always end up saying that. I go, oh, Lemon Party, that'll be good for the future. And then probably literally like 90% of the time, ugh. Uh, that I say that, I don't have the ability to actually use it again. Like, it only shows up once on the run. Hopefully this will be part of that other 10%. And I know, by the way, that we can go back and get that other black heart. I am I'm looking forward to doing that. However, for now, I'm also just uh, trying to get to this boss room and then sort out what we've got from our deal with the devil situation. Not a tinted rock in here, much to my surprise. Alright, well... Battery's not that useful, but maybe we'll end up getting, like, Satanic Bible or something like that. Not that I would even necessarily want to. I don't want to open that yet. Ah, maybe I do. I don't know. It's a weird situation. I would like to, if possible, get you to stand in the fire, please. Well, at least I got a spider with that. And then I got hit by another spider who was pretty pissed off about the whole situation. Oh my god, do you have to jump? At, like, literally only the worst possible opportunity for me. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We got a range upgrade. Extremely important. And then a Krampus fight. So, we probably should... At least it's Lump of Coal. But we probably should go to our deal with the devil. Or, sorry, our, our shop. And, uh... Pick up some relevant items there. Like, some extra spirit hearts wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. We're a little bit faster than we need to be. Even if we're worried about boss rush here, so... That's good. And we can we can have a little bit of peace of mind about that. Hey, I appreciate that. And the Fool card actually does make Boss Rush more of a possibility, which is awesome. Let's see if we can get back, maybe not to the point where we were at HP-wise before, but at least back to the point where I'm not super concerned about our HP. I mean, this is only the Catacombs. You wouldn't expect it to be this tough. Which is my way of saying that I'm doing badly. It's probably not actually this tough. I'm just being a little bit of an idiot. Those extra keys will help out. We have a lot of golden chests that we may endeavor to open. One golden chest is as good as another as far as I'm concerned, so... We'll just use them wherever it's appropriate. This is terrible. We will just leave. 
Two tiers upgrade pills. And a pheromones pill. That's actually really good. Alright, so let's go back to that room. We have three key... Oh, ho, ho, ho. With Polyphemus, it wouldn't matter that much if I lost to our Babylon, but I'd rather not. Alright, so let's go back to this room. We'll open up both of these. Decent. Perhaps amazing. Not amazing. But we picked up some bombs and, and definitely some extra cash in the process as well. I think we're just going to go. Keep going at a decent pace because it seems like we could probably get to all of the special rooms and still get to the boss trap room and teleport out, which is the best of both worlds, I guess. Well, we're trading keys for bombs at a breakneck pace. I'm not sure if that's really the kind of thing that I want to do, but it's the kind of thing that's getting done right now. And this run is looking pretty comfortable, but you can tell it's not that comfortable because I haven't started spouting inane bullshit yet. You might be wondering, you know, Northern Line, you can pick up that extra half heart. Why wouldn't you pick up that extra half heart? Well, it's, you're all about coulda, not shoulda, if you got that opinion right now. Yes, we could. No question about it. But we could also do that later. And for now, I'd rather just avoid picking up that half heart because that gives me some extra flexibility. If I accidentally walk over one half heart... Yeah, we'll take that. If I accidentally walk over one half heart, it's not GG when it comes to my Horror Babylon effect. If I pick up that half heart, then I can't walk over another one accidentally, which happens all the time to me because I'm not very uh, attentive to what's happening in my surroundings. And as a result, um, I, I could find myself really suffering on damage there. If you're a more attentive player, it's probably the, the proper strategy. I'll, I'll acquiesce, however. I don't, think it's, uh, I don't think it's the proper call for me, you know? A Reuben sandwich might be the most delicious meal of all time, but if you're a vegetarian who suffers from celiac disease, it's probably not going to be chief on your list of uh, lunchtime strategies, you know? Is that analogy? Does it work? I think it works. Uh... Yeah, we're going to go far right here. I don't think this will be our item rumor shop, but we'll see. I mean, it's got to be something over here. It's not really that big of a floor. Wow, but maybe it does not have to be something over here, actually. And nothing up there? I'm a little surprised at this shocking revelation. Please. Please. Two extra bombs. Uh, I'm not going to complain. I mean, I already... By saying I'm not going to complain, I've, I've pretty much already kind of innately complained. But you get the idea. Good tarot card? I'm mostly happy for the keys. Okay, Hermit is a better tarot card than than the Fool when it comes to teleporting out of the boss room. It's a better tarot card than the Fool in pretty much every literal respect. Unless you're trying to teleport out of a greed fight on the shop because you think you're going to die. Then you'd probably rather have the Fool. But only in that one, you know, very... Niche circumstance. Alright, so this is like my favorite slash least favorite room. Judgment. Lovely. We'll, we'll, we'll throw it down. And it is a regular judgment, which is probably what we would rather have right now. What about this? Two of spades. Don't mind if I do. This room's going to take a lot of our time. But that's okay. Alright, let's look at what we got. Chariot. Strength. Death. Two of spades. I'm just going to pop two of spades. We're going to stick with the hermit for now. We're going to give this guy some money. Don't give me HP. Don't give me HP. we still got shop and item room and boss room. And they've got to be like adjacent here. Extra keys. I love it. Money, definitely not a problem right now. And there's extra HP. So I don't want that. I know we have chariot. I know we have death. But I think it's just faster for us if we don't do it. And then we don't have to backtrack. But I think that might be misguided. So we're up to 28 keys now, which is lovely. Uh, Brother Bobby is not very good. Just not very good at all. Probably a better way to do that. Hanged Man. Death Card. Hermit. Okay. Keep moving. Keep moving. That's extremely stupid of me. And we're starting to get real low on the HP front. And we should be fighting Greed here. Just feels like a Greed fight. I predict that wrong all the time, but the ones that are right stand out more in my mind. Okay, this is good stuff. A little slower than I'd like to be. Temperance. Could use our chariot card there. But I don't really want HP is the thing. I might want IV bag. I don't know. It's a, it's a weird call. Yeah, I'll play you just to be safe. So this might be throwing away our chance at boss rush, but remember, with boss rush, all we have to do is get to the boss. 
if we get to the boss, um, then we can get out. Okay, Luckfoot's pretty good. And I gotta admit, you know, I think it's better for us to get to the boss rush room and steal an item than it is to get something out of the Hermit car. Or, sorry, out of the uh, Temperance blood bank. You know, what are we gonna get? That was a great bomb. I can't even be mad about that. Tell you what. <laughs> we'll, we'll take the meat because it's extra damage. And we'll come back here. I had a feeling we could make that. And we'll just play this twice. And lovely. We're, we're very tight on time. But we have the map. If we play our cards right, we might be able to figure out where we're supposed to go here. And I'm not that worried about our HP. I know it seems ridiculous. But I'm not. Double key room. We'll just check it out quickly. Curse of the Blind on a fucking... I hate this shit so much. Bob's a rotten head. It's terrible. Um, I, I hate Curse of the Blind on the... Boss Rush floor. It's the worst shit, man. Put in all this extra effort to get here, and then we don't even know what item we're going to get. Now it's just a random item. That we don't even have any any say in. So it's actually not any better, I think, mathematically speaking, than a um, than an item room. So we really should not skip anything to make this boss rush room happen. But with the Hermit card, we don't have to skip anything. We might just be able to snag an item for free. Not a big fan of that. HP's looking a little frightening. This is... I mean, every hit that I take... Oh, that has me starting to think that we're in a little bit more of a dire position. In fact, you know what? Fuck the boss rush room. I'm going to Hermit card. Really was hoping that we would have the opportunity to... Uh, we would have the opportunity to uh, buy something in here. But of course, that's ridiculous. What am I thinking? Don't take red heart damage on this floor. Like That's actually still a relevant concern as well. Item room. Mr. Boom this is terrible, man. It's just real bad. Now, don't walk on the spikes here. The Hermit. <laughs> Perfect. Come on. Now, I actually want Red Hearts. I need HP more than I need, uh... Well, more than I need pretty much anything else. No combat in this room. Not a secret room. Okay, don't get it. This is actually an opportunity for me to get hit. There's four. Okay. Lucky me. Lucky me. Yara rune. Okay. Well, that's better than our hermit card for sure. We're uh, we're on the razor's edge here, though. Don't let me die here. Give me some HP. I played I played too fast and loose. No HP. There's no bomb rocks, so we gotta try for Bob's rotten head. Oh, thank God it's infamy. I'm so glad that's not Bob's Rotten Head. I wasn't asking for it to get it. I was asking for it to be like, please, no. This room can take a step back and quite clearly fuck its own face. I keep walking through it to try to, like, just create some space. But every skull that I blow up is a host. Are you seeing this shit? Okay, we've, we've done some, we've done our time. I knew they weren't all dead. Credit card, I mean. <laughs> we did it, holy shit, okay. There we go, we got some HP. It's gonna fuck our damage. That's okay, though. Boss rush is, is over, the possibility is long gone. This is okay, our damage is gonna, is gonna suck a little bit. But we can make this work. We pulled ourselves out of this. Now we just need like a guppy's paw. And that lets us, you know, get back to balling out of control and not worrying about our HP. It's a very groovy combination. Now let's, uh, I'm just gonna go fight the boss to be straight with you. Like, I don't think there's any, any real motivation for me not to. I know there's a lot more space left on this floor, but it's not like, you know, we missed out on any item rooms or anything like that. And, uh, we've, we've already been to our shop. We've already been to our double key room. Like, there might have been a curse room or something, but I'm not really in the market for that. Don't take red heart damage here. You might get spirit hearts for finishing this fight. Oftentimes it does work that way. 
Very important to not take. Oh, no! <laughs> and she laughed about it. Oh, that hurts, man. Well, we shouldn't get a deal with the devil here. Instead, we'll get this. And a spirit heart. Fuck it, you know what? I'm gonna hermit card out. I wanna explore more of this floor now. Well, uh, we really, really, if possible, wanna make sure that we are getting more spirit hearts. Because we need, or would like to, at least, have a situation in which we are guaranteed more or less a deal with the devil on the next floor. I know we could get extra bombs out of that pretty easily. I'm not that concerned. Alright, give me some spirit hearts. Give me a better trinket or something. Cherry cards, okay. Two cherry cards. Child's heart, not really that interested in. Callus could help, actually, because I'm dumb. Um, three cherry cards. We got another world card. What do you got for me? Perthro rune. Ah, okay. We have Luckfoot, so I'm not surprised to see all this shit coming out here. We should take cards that don't hurt us. Like Wheel of Fortune, put it down. Fool, nah, we'll just... Sun, I'm gonna use it. We're taking Perthro or Yera with us anyway. Magician, we should use it. Chariot, might as well use it. Chariot, might as well use it. I think we're better off with Ace of Spades for now. With Luckfoot, we can probably sit here and get back to the HP cap. Hermit card, Lover's card. What's this one? Burkano rune, might as well just pop it. This is a, a dang mess over here is what it is, but there we go, it's exploded. So we want our Perthro rune. Fool, Magician, Hermit. I think we'll take, um, I think we'll still take Ace of Spades, honestly, and we'll take our Perthro rune with us. And then we can come down here and say, you know, Perthro the shit out of that. We get Cricket's head. All right. <laughs> That seems like a pretty good decision now. Now that I've given it a little bit more thought. Not that we need this money, but I'm very glad that we... Where's our Perthro? Oh, we use it, right. <laughs> I'm paranoid because I keep leaving runes behind. Forgot, by the way, that we have this. That's okay. Um, by this, I mean blue candle. I, know, I recognize I'm leaving bombs behind. It's a lazy play, but it's a play... Born out of convenience. That's a much more diplomatic way to say it than I'm lazy. And I guess we're just gonna, you know, work our way down to that boss room there. And on that boss room, uh, we'll pick up our Yara rune, head down to the next floor. Should have a really good crack at getting a deal with the devil. We could take credit card for those purposes, but quite frankly, I might actually like to give away some HP. There we go. Uh, because, I mean, we do have Polyphemus Cricket's head, so our damage is fine. But it would also be nice to have the damage multiplier for, uh, for Hora Babylon. But, you know, we, we need, like, a Guppy's Paw, basically, to show up in order to make that likely. It's feasible, or at least plausible, that it'll show up without it. But it's not likely. And we might want to hold off on these keys, because we are going to need eight of them for... The chest, eight at the very least, actually. Unless I forget this rune, which is also within the realm of possibility. There we go. But for now, um, we, we took a, a run that was looking pretty dire. Not that this is a bad run. This is actually a great run that I probably mismanaged in a multitude of different ways. But um, we've, took, we've taken a run that was uh, looking a little dangerous, and now we've turned it into a run that is just... Uh, it's quite lovely right now. Thank you, Infamy. And it's pretty much just a testament to the good RNG right now. I mean, Polyphemus and Cricket's Head on the same run. But I had to work for that Cricket's Head. Polyphemus was a little bit more of just a, a gift, but I had to work for Cricket's Head. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Unless that other one is me. So I'm assuming that it's, it's pretty much a foregone conclusion excuse me, that um, this is going to be our boss room up here. This is what I'm looking for. Uh, yeah, I would be surprised if it were not. How did, oh right, because he's invulnerable until the enemies before him die. That's a really cool champion design. 
turns the rooms into a little bit more of a puzzly type thing. You might be saying, well, that's a very easy puzzle, and I'll say, I'm very, I'm very bad at puzzle games, so, uh, you know, now you're getting a little bit of a feel for that, aren't you? I still haven't figured out how to get a score above zero in Bejeweled. That's a joke, by the way. Double Loki. Maybe the easiest boss we could fight right here. Blast Assist I find annoying because of that period where he's invulnerable after his phases shift. Um, and Skolex I actually find a little annoying as well. With like Fear Shot or a Slow Shot, it makes them difficult to kill. We got HP, which I guess we might as well take at this point, and then the Mark. I mean, it's hard to complain about the Mark, but I was hoping for something a little bit more bombastic, you know? That being said, with the amount of Spirit Hearts we now have, we could find an Arcade. And we, we could feel good about, you know, playing the Arcade. I realize I'm not taking all the bombs. When is the last time you saw me use all my bombs on a run? It, it might have actually been last run. <laughs> Don't answer. When was the time before that, though, is what I really mean. Goathead, just in time to not be useful at all. I mean, I guess I might as well. Pheromones is alright, I guess. Paralysis is not. Lemon Party is... is usable. Not on this room, but, you know, theoretically speaking. Don't leave the Yara rune behind to take Lemon Party just to prove a point. You idiot. You idiot. You know, I, I'm happy with the keys, I guess. I shouldn't complain about that. The more keys we get, the more of those bad boys we can open. Come on, give me a, uh... Give me a B! Give me an L! I'm not going to spell out Blood Bag, but that's what I wanted it to do. There we go. Now all I have to do is backtrack consistently to get it. Actually, you know what? Um, I was going to say considerably, but it's pretty close. Um, you know what? We will take that Cancer Trigger instead of Ace of Spades. I think Ace of Spades has been alright for us, but... Um, I mean, without Ace of Spades, we would not have had the keys necessary to do what we've been doing. However, or probably wouldn't have had. It's hard to, you know... Enforce causality there, or, you know, divine causality there. That's a tears upgrade. As such, I would still like to pick it up. That was a bit of a shitty situation. Like, I, I probably could have found my way out of it, but not easily. Gotta remember the tears upgrade so you can do situations like that. You don't have to, I mean, you could just. You just spend a bomb of your 36 bombs to check it out, but I think I feel good about it, and that's all that matters. Able, it's uh, objectively a good thing, except when it knocks enemies into you, but still like pretty objectively positive. Only two, right? Yeah. Bob's brain. I'm gonna take it. I think it's pretty okay. We gotta get it. <laughs> That's the problem with Bob's Brains. You gotta unload one uh, before you can, you know, it's like there's something about Mary, you know, you, we can't go out there with the one in the chamber. It's bad for your mental state. This should be interesting. Alright, we've taken it out. That's what we, whoa, I missed! Whoa, that was a little spooky there. Here we go. This should take care of Mom very, very easily. I don't think we're gonna be able to get back into the Horror of Babylon state, to be honest with you. I'm very disappointed to, to have to say that, but, you know, the writing's kind of on the wall. There's not many opportunities for us to do it. I did explore this floor. Yeah, I explored the, all the terminals and still did not find a blood bank, so... I don't think, you know, past that point there was any way for us to do that. So we will head up to the cathedral, and once we get to the chest, like, I, I won't be nearly as anxious, but... I'm a little anxious right now. Red chest? Red chest? No red chest. You might argue that it's worth it for a golden chest. And you, you may well be right. I won't disagree with you necessarily on that. Okay. Hit him. Hit him. Perfect. I would maybe like to take out the, uh, the Greaves before Fistula really starts balling out of control here, which is actually exactly how that went down. All right. Hard to kind of see the map here, transparency-wise, but I think the boss is going to be, uh, like, middle right. Right middle, I guess I should say. Like, on the eastern area of the map. High Priestess. Uh, okay. It's not Tammy's head. It's Guppy's head. Uh, I think we're still better off with Blue Candle. I think Blue Candle's a little bit more powerful. But I'm very excited to have gotten another Guppy item. Don't get me wrong on that one. 
Very happy as well that half of these rooms appear to have nothing in them, making my job a lot easier. Admittedly, probably should have taken damage there. Yeah. I do like uh, Guppy's head, and our damage is great, so our flies would be doing a lot of damage, but I think the ability to do that damage multiple times per room with, uh, with Blue Candle is probably a little bit more valuable for us. We can also use it to block shots. It's a little bit more of a, a crapshoot, though. Gotta try to land that in front of the boss. Not always easy. Thank you, Bob's Brain. And you should be entering your next phase very shortly. And this should be easy as long as I can land these perfect uh, blue candle shots like right at... That was stupid of me. Like right at the bounds of where he, uh, he sets up. Like right there. I hit him into that with Bob's Brain. Totally intentional. Don't even question it. We don't have to worry about spirit arts except for survival's sake. It's a nice change of pace to not have to worry about higher order strategy and instead just be like, well, we're content to just make it down to the next floor. All right, so we are going to Yara Rune and hope for some amazing synergies here. No curses. This is a surprise to me. Spider Babby, not so good. Eve's Mascara, I'll take it. Whether it's good or not is debatable. Bean, not good. Relic, very good. Loki Sorns, I don't like it. Um, Halo Fly is very good. Concussive Tear is pretty good because it comes with a damage upgrade as well. I'm going to leave the other two because we're not going to need 10 bombs. You might be saying, you know, why not take 10 bombs? Um, but uh, I I might get a Perthrow Rune. So I took the stuff that I thought was going to be, like, useful. And I've swamped, or I'm, I'm going to keep on the sidelines the stuff that I think may not be useful. And if we need to take it before the boss fight, so be it. But it doesn't really matter either way. Why Eve's Mascara? If I'm confident that I'm able to hit enemies fairly reliably, I think it's a good choice. Does lower our effective range, which sucks. Uh, especially with Lump of Coal. In fact, it might, that might make it an objective negative pickup. But I figured with the Cancer Trinket, like we've already got an okay rate of fire. Better to up our damage. But that, that argument doesn't really hold water uh, upon rigorous analysis. Because it's, uh, it's proportional, right? It doesn't lower our tiers by like... Minus number, number, number. It lowers our tiers by half, like by a proportion, so... It's a relative nerf to that. But a relative increase in damage, and our damage is great, so doubling our damage might make up for a lowering in tiers, weirdly enough. Like, if if it can help us one-shot enemies, then I think it's worth it. But we're not one-shotting enemies, we're two-shotting them. Holy water, not very good. Just not a good item. And this is going to be our boss fight, and because our boss fight is so soon, I really don't see us dying here. So I feel like we've, we've pulled out a victory here, and it wasn't an easy one. There you go, there's 99 bombs. Um, it, it was not an easy one by any stretch of the imagination, so I'm pretty happy with the way things have gone. Now, it's not technically over yet. We could still take enough damage. I'd say we probably got like a 95% chance of winning, but... You know, I do enough runs that those 5% of fringe cases can show up from time to time. Every time we hit him and he doesn't hit us in return, our, uh, our odds increase a little bit. Sink one there, and that should probably finish the job. Maybe another hit or two. Alright, um, there we go. Bit of a tricky run, but thanks for watching. I probably made some misplays there that I'm not necessarily proud of, but I hope you enjoyed the run nonetheless. And of course, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.